Hello everyone, what's going on? I'm finally back using my voice. I'm sorry for uh, this delay. And uh, for uh, today's tutorial, we'll see how to create this cyborg skull effects that we're gonna merge to the image, like a half cyborg and a half human. All right, so let's get to it. So let's go ahead and open Photoshop and then uh, let's go and open the image that we'll be using which is this one. So we'll just drag it and open it in here. Alright, so the first thing that I want to do is to uh, actually darken the background of this image because I will use the same image. And also I want to remove uh, these hairs in here. Maybe not this one but this one's in here because I want to use this side the right side in here for to reveal the part of uh, the cyborg skull all right so let's start with the with the background so i will just select the subject so i will go to select and choose subject all right as you can see we have our selection but uh, let's improve it even more so let's go to select and choose select and mask or you can press alt ctrl r or option command r to open the select and mask in here all right as you can see if i zoom in you can see the edges are not that great so let's fix it a little bit or make it a little bit better so i will go to the global refinement and i will choose smooth that will add like 20 or 18 in the smooth in here as you can see it already start to look a little bit better and also i want to add the uh, but I want to shift the edge a little bit so I will put minus 15 or 18 in here so keep it 15 and let's add a little bit of contrast like 10% and let's see all right I think this is okay and I will press okay and then I will go to adjustment and I will choose curve. And as you can see, uh, because we have the selection uh, loaded, it will, uh, by default, apply the selection as a layer mask in here, and that's what we want. But uh, we don't want to to affect uh, the curve to affect the the image of the girl, but we want to affect uh, the background. Uh, let me show you. If I take one point and drag it, you can see it will affect the image itself. But we don't want that so let's open the layer mask and uh, invert our uh, layer mask in here and then I will go back to the curve and I will make it darker now as much as I want all right something like this it's okay so let's see before and after as you can see there is a part in here that I don't like so I will uh, load my brush by pressing B and I will select uh, the layer mask that will make sure that's 100% for the hardness that will just remove this part in here all right and uh, for this black edge is not important because we're gonna apply a blur at the end of our effect all right next we're gonna select the background image and then I will create a new layer and I will call this hair fix all right and then I will go to the spot hidden brush tool and it's very simple I will just make a line or I make dots or I want to remove the item or the thing and this will remove it I mean it's not recommended to use this method for something important because you can see there are some lines in here but for this tutorial, we're gonna just smudge things around and blend the skull with the, the, the skin and I don't want to have hairs like that, but it doesn't need to be in a good details uh, removing the, the hairs. All right, something like this, I think it's good.
All right, I think it looks okay. Let's remove this part in here. And a little bit in here. All right, so I think this is, this is okay. All right, now uh, I want to apply a little bit of levels to our image. So on top of the hair fix layer, I'm gonna create a, a new adjustment layer, a level adjustment layer. I will darken it a little bit in the midtones too, just like that. All right, now uh, we're gonna open uh, the skull of the cyborg. So let's go ahead and open it, just drag it and open it in here. That will make it bigger to fit our subject. And maybe I will put down the opacity to around 60 or 50 percent. As you can see the eyes are not matching, so I need to make it smaller. All right. But the nose now is not matching. All right, so I'm gonna press shift and I will go to the side in here, the right side, and I will drag it like that. They will do the same for the other one. All right, now I will right click and I will choose warp. I will try to adjust the eyes a little bit and the nose too. And the side a little bit too. All right, so I think it looks okay. So I will one click on this check mark to commit the change. And then I will right click and choose rasterize layer. And I will name this cyborg skull. All right, now I will go to edit and then I will apply uh, the puppet warp in here. This way I can uh, edit or I can adjust more the replacement of everything in here but before we're gonna do that we're gonna make point on all our edges in here that we don't want to be moved for example if I want to move only the eyes I can just make one point in here and one point in here and another in here and another in here and then in the middle I can just make one point and move whatever I want, just like that. All right, so I will do the same for the nose. So maybe one point in here and one just right here, and one in here, and one in here. That will just remove, uh, I will just move the nose, the nose a little bit, maybe one in the middle until I see it's matching the face maybe just, let me just remove this one if you want to remove a point you can just press alt and one click and it will remove it and i will just make it like that all right now we'll go to the teeth i will make it make the opacity a little bit down 50 percent so i can see the teeth are right here so i will just make one point in here one point in here and one in here, another one in here and another one in here. Then I will go to the middle and just make as many points as I want. Maybe move this a little bit. This one too. Alright, you know, add points wherever you feel like moving, but of course it needs to be in a very good shape for our effect. Alright, so I think it looks okay for now. Maybe in the middle in here, I don't like this part. We'll just move it a little bit. 
Alright, I think it's okay for now for this tutorial. And I will one click on this check mark. Alright, now we do a little bit of adjustment to our skull to fit with the, the face. We can go ahead and make the opacity to 100% again. And uh, let's see. Okay, we're gonna apply a layer mask. And then I will uh, double click on this layer mask and invert the layer mask to be black. All right, next I will uh, press B on my keyboard or I will go to the brushes in here. Then I will right click and in the basic brush, I will choose a basic brush with a 50% or 40% hardness. And the opacity is 100 and the flow is 100. And I will just reveal with a white foreground color. Just reveal in here the part that I want to be shown for our skull. As you can see, it looks good, matching the, all the features of the face. All right, so you can reveal as much as you want, but for me, I think the half it looks better. All right. All right, I think it looks good. All right, now uh, next, I want to add uh, this kind of like uh, skin flying in here or like uh, attach with the other parts of uh, the, the head in here. But before we're gonna do that, I want to fill this area in here with black. So I will create a new layer on top of our curve and I will just pick a black color with a normal brush and I will just paint in here with black. All right. All right, so let's go back to our uh, cyborg skull. And then I will right click to load the brushes again. And uh, as you can see in here, I already have the cyborg uh, brushes loaded, but I, uh, I will provide this uh, brush is down in the link from uh, the description below. And this uh, whole PSD, it will be available for uh, our members. So if you want to download the full PSD, you know, try to be a member and you can download the, the free PSD and also to support the channel. All right, so I will right click and uh, I will choose any of these brushes in here. So let's choose this one. No, but actually I want uh, to use the smudge tool for this. Yeah, let's uh, switch to our smudge tool in here, as you can see. Then I will right click and I will choose the same brush in here. And for the smudge tool, I will make sure that I'm selecting the layer mask, not the layer. And also black is my foreground color. And then I will try to smudge a little bit from the skin in here, for example, like this. Let's just add a line like that and you can switch between black and white to smudge from the selection of from the, layer, the layer mask just like that and I will make it a little bit slimmer And it's a very good technique to use the smudge tool to add even more details like this one in here by switching black and white for our foreground color. You can even you can just smudge like can one click and push like this, as you can see. All right, I think this color, this uh, line, it looks very good. So I want to add a little bit of details in this side, just like that. Makes it look like it's about to be torn. Just like this. And I will try to add more details for the nose in here.
All right, I think it looks good. Now let's add another one in here. So I will just make a line like that and then I will make it smaller. And this might take a little bit of time. So I will try to be quick. Maybe I will modify it later for the final result. I just want to show you some of it in here. And I think this one, it will be good for Halloween kind of effect. So I hope that you, you will like it. And uh, shout out to our members. It will be available for you uh, in the PSD for you to download. All right, so I will do another one in this area in here. Just like that. Maybe one small one in here. All right. And make one hideous hole in here. I mean, I'm also resizing the brush it gets bigger and smaller using the alt and my cursor and it's helpful to do that too so i'm only using one brush but you can use different brushes if you want Alright, I think it looks okay. Alright, so now you can add more details in this part in, in this part if you want. You can even make it all this part to cover it with the, the skin if you want. But for this tutorial, I will just make it blend a little bit with our skull. Maybe reveal a little bit and then make it blend more yeah I think it's easier for this kind of effect to use the smudge tool because it's more controllable but it's up to you guys you can use the brushes if you want but when I want to do an effect like this I always like to use the smudge tool to control the everything about the effect All right, I think I like I like it like this. Maybe I will remove this part in here. We'll add a little bit to go with this. But I think it looks okay. And of course, it's up to you if you want to add more or no. But I think for this tutorial, it looks decent. All right, so next I will apply a level adjustment to darken the, the skull a little bit. So I will select the uh, cyborg skull, and then I will go to adjustments and I will choose levels. And then I will one click on this uh, clipping mask in here to clip it to the cyborg skull layer. And I will darken it a little bit. And I will put down the midtones a little bit too. And then I will go to the black output levels, make it a little bit like this to add more white and a little bit of black too let's see I think it looks okay 
but I don't like uh, this uh, teeth in here so I think I will turn them black and white uh, so I will just add another adjustment and this time I will go for hue and saturation and again I will uh, clip it using this clipping mask icon and I will just put down the saturation to minus 100% and I will just apply it to the teeth area so I will right click oh, let me first switch to the brushes and then I will right click and choose basic brush and using normal basic brush I can just using black as my foreground color I can just color now oh, I'm sorry I need actually to invert our line mask by pressing Control or command I on my keyboard to invert it to black and then using white as my foreground color, I can just cover these teeth in here to make them whiter using the black and white. All right, but I think I want to make it a little bit darker, the teeth. So let's open the hue and saturation and put down a little bit like this. The lightness and maybe I will put down the opacity a little bit to 70% yeah I think it looks a little bit okay yeah I think it looks much much better than before all right so we're almost done we only need to add a little bit of blood in this area or what looks like blood so to do that we're gonna actually load the selection of uh, our cyborg skull the layer mask if, as you can see if I select the cyborg skull and then if I press alt you can see I'm entering the layer mask view in here and uh, to load this selection or to load this layer mask you can just press ctrl or command and one click on the layer mask and as you can see this will load it <coughs> but we need to inverse uh, the selection so I'm gonna press ctrl shift or command shift I and this will load it and then on top of everything I will create a new layer and I will call this effect blood lines or edges all right, and then I will fill it with uh, whatever color. So I'm gonna press uh, Alt or Option Delete, and it will fill it with black. All right, and then I will just uh, put down the fill to zero percent, and then I will open the layer mask, and then I will open the blending options. All right, let me just zoom in. Alright, so I want to only put a little bit of blood in the edges. So I will go to Inner Shadow for this. And as you can see, I already have it in here ready. So uh, so as you can see, so as you can see. So as you can see I have the blend mode to normal and a red color, a dark red color actually. And uh, in here you can just adjust uh, your angle to wherever you want if you want it down or up like this. To be down in here or maybe to be a little bit shown like that. For me I like it to be just a little bit like this. Yeah just a little bit like this and then I will put the distance to two pixels and uh, maybe I will add a little bit of noise around 10 or 12 percent of noise to match the our image in here and I will press OK as you can see now it looks really really nice I mean it's not that much but only subtle details to add a little bit of effect to our image 
All right, so let's uh, do a little bit of cleaning. So I will just select the cyborg skull and by pressing shift, I will select the effect blood in here and I will put it in a group and I will call this skull. Then I will select this layer and the hair fix and put it in a group by pressing Ctrl command G and I will call this image fix. All right. Now I will uh, select the skull image and I want to add a little bit of more red uh, to this uh, part in here. So I will create a new layer <coughs> and I will actually using a normal brush, I will uh, press Alt or Option so I can pick the same red that we have in here, it's like that. And then I will uh, right click and I will choose 0% hardness and I will make my brush bigger. Maybe I will adjust the color to be a little bit saturated in here and I will one click like that. And then I will change the blending mode to color dodge and I will put down the opacity to 50 or 60 percent just to add a little bit of red to the edges all right now we'll create a new layer again and this time I will adjust, I will uh, sample a color from in here like a yellowish color so let me actually make it a little bit yellow all right like that and I will one click again. This time I will change it to screen and I will put down the opacity quite a bit, like 30% or 40%, and the fill to, to 50%. And I will select these two layers and make them in the skull group in here. Alright, so we're almost done. But I think I want to add a little bit of shadow in the edges. Of, uh, the skull all right so let's open the skull folder and let's uh, locate our skull image and then I'm gonna create a, a new adjustment uh, let's create a, a curve and then I will clip it to the skull and then I will darken it quite a bit something like this all right and then I will double click on the layer mask and I will invert it to black. And then I will select my uh, layer mask and I will grab a, a normal brush and I will just paint in the edge using white as my foreground color. And I will just paint like that. Just to give it a little bit of depth. Alright, I think it looks much better now. So I want to darken this white area too. So I'm going to create a new adjustment. And this time I will go for brightness and contrast. And I will drop down the brightness. But uh, don't forget to clip it to the skull itself. And the contrast, I will make it 100. Then again, I will uh, switch uh, the layer mask to black by inverting it. And then I will select my layer mask and using the same brush with white as my foreground color, we'll just darken this a little bit. As you can see, that's a little bit in the edges. All right. Ours, I think it looks good, but I will maybe put the opacity of the curve adjustment to 70. Alright, I think I'm happy with this. So let me close the folder. And now the last thing that we're going to add is uh, some adjustment. So I will go to adjustment and I will choose color lockup. And in the 3D loose file, I will open uh, foggy night. Uh, 3dl then I will drop down the opacity and the fill to 50% and then I will go back to adjustments and again I will uh, choose color lockup 
and this time I will choose teal orange plus contrast and for this I will put the opacity to 40 to 30 percent so let's choose 35 and the fill to 250 all right next I will go to adjustments again and this time I will go to curves and then the RGB in here I will open it and I will choose red and I will add a little bit of yellowish to red color I mean for this you can just look at your image and see what works best for you and something like that and then I will go to the channel again and I will choose blue they will do the same drop it a little bit all right I think it looks good all right the last adjustment that I'm gonna add for this is uh, an exposure and uh, I will put a little bit of the offset to plus 0 0.0083 and the gamma correction I will drop it down to 0 0.94 not that much but I think it looks good all right now I will uh, group all the adjustment to a folder so I'm gonna press shift and uh, click on the last one and I will put it in a group and I will call this adjustment Now I want to take a snap shot or like I want to merge what we see in here in one layer and to do that we're gonna press Control shift alt e or command shift option e all together and this will merge all what we have in our canvas and put it in one layer and let's call this final and then I will right click and I will convert it to smart object all right uh, for this i only want to add a little bit of vignette so i will go to filter and i will choose lens correction and in the custom in here you can see there is the vignette they will put a dark vignette something like this maybe minus 80 and for the midpoint i think i will keep it 50 and i will press ok all right, so we're gonna add a little bit of blur to our image or maybe we'll blur everything beside the, the face. So I will go to filter again and this time I will go to blur gallery and I will choose iris blur. All right, so let me make this point in the middle. And then I will zoom out and I will make this circle bigger or larger like this. And then to adjust these points, I want them to be close to the face. So I'm gonna press Alt or Option, and I will click on one point and put it just right here. And I will do the same for the other point, just like that. And this one too, that's right here. And the top one, we'll put it just right here. And then I will change the blur to 60 or 70 pixels. So let's put 60. You can blur it quite a bit. All right, I think I'm happy with this. I'm gonna press OK. All right. And let's see the before and the after. So this is before and this is after. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed and uh, you like this uh, tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and thank you so much for your positive comments and uh, wait for more tutorials to come and have a nice day. Thank you for watching.